important before you comb the curls out. What I do is I just sleek the front with my hot comb to make it look like it's coming straight from the scalp, girls. Scalp, scalp, scalp. And then I flatten the middle part and the back. Just watch this. I flatten right there to make sure it's nice and flat and sleek. And I get to the next side, and I just flatten all around so everything could be nice and flat. Because when you're curling here, you're not curling it right from the root. You're not curling it right from the root. So heat doesn't get to the root of the actual mannequins. The, the root of the wig. So it's curling away from the root of the wig. So I need to still get the root of the wig straight before my curls form. I don't want it to look puffy because I did wash the wig. I want it to look nice, straight, and sleek. So now I'm going to use my wide tooth comb and I'm going to like comb out my curls because you know you don't want to leave it like this. Yes. Oh, look at those highlights. Highlights for days, girl. Once again, this hair is from my collections. I actually don't have a site set up yet for people to purchase my hair, but if you do want to order through me, I have my information in the beginning of all my videos and at the end of all my videos and also my I'm gonna have a link to my Instagram below also in the description so you can always reach out to me but just look oh my gosh this hair is really the bomb like I used to get my hair from other companies before when I make wigs for my clients if they do inquire that they want some hair but now that I have my own personal vendor and the hair is super duper better visual of it if they were wearing it so they could see how it's actually gonna look on them but just look at that look at that look at that so freaking pretty thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video